my people is it by force to talk look at the way this nurse just lied in this video in fact uh, this kind of lie she need to win award she said something that did not happen in fact eh, i'm gonna put this video for you to watch it guys but before i do that if you have not subscribed to my channel please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel don't forget to turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever i publish any latest video now guys let's watch this video my name is titi layo i'm in course i live in united states and then it I mean, I'm a senior sister to my brother's wife. We are just three. Two, uh, um, two brothers and, you know, a boy. So we have a young, we have a brother, we have a, how do I say? So my sister is the last one of the family. And she is the wife, um, she's, she's my brother's wife. They got married on a low key, you know. Just because we want to respect Mubaz, my sister couldn't post pictures. We couldn't celebrate the way we want. Just because we understand what he's going through. And he's doing this because he doesn't want to expose his family. That is why he's doing this. He doesn't want to expose his, expose his wife and his son. So, right now, my sister cannot talk. She's grieving. And, and we are just trying to be here for her so she you know so she can stay strong. Please bear with us. We are saying your donations. Every day we are saying it. We will not we will not how do I put that? We will not deny that we are saying it. Thank you to all Nigerians. And I think from the donations, thank you for the support. That was huge. We owe you guys for that. Thank you for the support. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Nigerians. So surprised about what is going on. I am so surprised. The, the night. Okay, sorry, sorry. The night, on Tuesday night, it was as if I should jump from my phone. I get to Nigeria immediately. I begged. I begged them. I was on the front phone from from 8 p.m. to like 2 a.m. Bus Revolution. I was on Bus Revolution and WhatsApp call from 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Begging and begging. Do talk to me. Do what say. Don't go and bury him this midnight. They wanted to bury him in the midnight. Don't bury him this night. He deserves a defeating barrier. I plead dead. My sister plead dead. No one is listening to us. Una, una, they see lie. Have you guys seen the way people lie? I beg. I plead dead. For them not to go and bury my body, deserve a defeated barrier. My sister pleaded. Your sister carried police report and death certificate for a hand. Why Papa Mobad was going to one hospital, one mortuary to one mortuary, one uh, police to they denied him not to put in a mortuary. My people look at the year and more. If you pleaded and begged, say me and not bury him. Why your sister not give the papa the death certificate to make, make it for canopy for mortuary? Not if they put up a mortuary, then they don't go bury him. Person where they reject for police station, reject them for hospital, reject them for mortuary. What is the father supposed to do? I said, okay, if that be the case, let's bury him at the cemetery. Let's not go and bury him just anywhere. They didn't listen. My wife, my sister did not have the faith. No one listened. At least if she, if she had a song for them now. They didn't listen. They didn't listen to my sister. I asked them. I asked my family to give the phone to them so, so I can talk. I don't want to mention him. That's why I'm saying them. I don't want to mention him. Give the phone to them. I'm coming home. At least before I get home. Let's do this. Why, why do we have to bury him in first place? 
Why are we so much in a hurry to bury him? I had that question so many times, no response from them. What do we have to bury him at 12 a.m. midnight? No response. Everybody, every, they have to like fight them and say no. Even if you want to bury him, not this midnight. Not this midnight. When when he was getting to when he was getting into into chaos, that was when they decided and said, okay, we will bury him in the morning. In the morning, as early as eight o'clock, they took they took him to the mug. Around that two a.m., they took him to the mug. As early as eight o'clock, they got there again to go and get him out and bury him. Why do we have to bury him this early? That lad that they buried Mubad on, I was the one that wanted to buy that land. But I wanted someone close, something closer to the, by the side of the road. I said I don't want it. My mom advised Mubad to start having properties aside from the land in uh, the house in Bethany. That was why my mom was. My people, I don't know if you listen to that statement. She said, apart from the house Mobile bought in Lekki, remember they said Mobile does not have any property, that Mobile does not have money. Immediately Mobile buy. that was when they started begging people for money, punishing Mobile's name that Mobile does not have anything. My people, you can imagine, people can go far. People can go to any length just to make money. Is it because of that money that they buy mobile? That is one thing that I want to know. People are just being wicked for nothing. Just because they want to make money. Because they want every property for themselves. Every property that the guy has, they want it for themselves. This life is really wicked. No wonder they say this world is a wicked world. People can go to any length. Guys, what do you really think about this video? Please leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Don't forget to turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever I publish any latest video. And please hit on the subscribe button to support this channel. Give this video a super thumbs up and please share this video. Don't forget guys, this is Lightness Media. I will see you in the next video.